How you doing there folks? Baders here with another video for you all. Today we're gonna look at 25 must-try mods for Fallout 4. Now 9 out of 10 gamers agree that these mods give them a chubby penis. I should know. I've done the research people. Yes, I've done the research. Now if you see this dusty ball sniffer then don't be alarmed because that's an indicator that the mod featured is available on Xbox. Remember if you like this video to hit that like button because if I get enough likes on this video then maybe I can stop giving out HJs to Big Eddie to supplement my income. Please help me! Now go ahead and put on some tight underwear and let's get to average baiting baby! Here we have Service Rifle Expansion Project by Nady2283. This mod takes something that's already good and makes it better in the game by adding a fuck ton of new attachments. Honestly, I feel like Bane in Batman Rising when he took over the armory and just made it his own like a savage when I used this mod. Your precious service rifle. Gratefully accepted. We will need it. This mod really steps it up a lot in the modification department. There are new barrels, new mounting points, new handguards, new rail system, new stocks, new compensators, new sights, new grenade launchers, new magazines, and so much more, including a buttload of new ways of putting it all together. I will show you where I've made my weapon. We're preparing to bring justice. Then, I will shoot you. This weapon mod sets a whole new standard for attachments and modifications for weapons in Fallout 4. If you can dream it, then you can be it with this weapon mod. This is by far one of the most extensive weapon modification systems I've seen in Fallout 4, and one that's sure to add a ton of fun to anyone's playthrough of the game. Here we have Sith Swap by Darklin XXX. I don't know what it is, but I just don't trust machines. Maybe it's because I once walked into an automatic door, or it could be the fact that my washing machine keeps laughing at me! Or maybe it's because when I was 11, a toaster tried to kill me. Where that toaster got a gun? We'll never know. Now this mod adds the ability to add synth body parts to your character in Fallout 4. You can give your character artificial legs, arms, a head, even a whole body. You know, go nuts. There are a ton of different options to choose from. You got your basic bitch synth components, but you also have a plethora, that's right, a plethora of other new machine concepts to choose from. Honestly, I couldn't even show all the different types in this video because there's just too many. Great part is you can mix and match any parts you like to really make your character something completely unique. I clearly have no creativity at all because my idea of mixing things up is giving my guy different hands. Woo! <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, obviously, you can do much, much more with this mod. There are even things you can add to your character that weren't even in the game to begin with, like a tail, a cool mask, wings, and so much more. This is a really unique mod that lets you experience Fallout 4 in a new way, and it's a lot of fun to just mix and match for hours on end. Maybe next time I'll give my guy different feet or something. You know, really just like live a little. Here we got Capital Wasteland Behemoths by the Fried Turkey. Now behemoths are everyone's favorite giant mutant buttfucker. Out and about smacking people senseless with them giant and boulder weapons. There's just so much to love here, it's hard to contain all my excitement in these skinny jeans. We already love behemoths, that much is baseline knowledge. But what if we could make those giant green bastards look even better? Better yet! What if we could make them look like a more polished version of the Fallout 3 behemoths? Wouldn't that tickle your pickles? Oh boy, would it! Well guess what, boys and girls, and other non-gender specific pronouns? That's exactly what this mod does. It takes the behemoths in Fallout 4, and it gives them a sexy little makeover, with high, super perky textures that just pop right off the screen. Now it's safe to say that I liked the behemoths before this mod. Sure, they scared the shit out of me and if I got too close I started crying uncontrollably, but cosmetically speaking, I enjoyed them. But this mod makes the vanilla behemoths look like meth-addicted dirt squirrels. I promised myself I would never get too close with a retexture mod ever again because of how hurt I've been in the past. But this retexture mod makes me want to love again. It's just that nice. Needless to say, I would recommend this retexture mod 
in anyone's playthrough of the game. Next up, we've got the Scar L by Shoe Burglar. Nerf, the preferred weapon of toddlers and creepy strangers at the park. Now, some of you might be wondering, can a tiny foam bullet actually kill a man? The answer is yes. Yes, it can. If that person is already injured and you hit them with a constant stream of blunt force trauma to their boo-booed region. Now, perhaps they bled out from prior contusions or other unrelated reasons, but that still doesn't change the fact that I made a preteen cry when I hit him in the eye with one of these foam torpedoes. Nerf is dangerous, hence the warning labels on packages that say for ages four years and older. Before they put them warning labels on the packaging, we can only assume that three-year-olds were killing each other in droves. Now, I never told anyone this before, but Nerf guns killed my pet hamster. Hit him with a car. And I've never really gotten over that shit. Well, now with this mod installed, you'll be able to utilize the deadly power of Nerf in Fallout 4 with your very own automatic Nerf gun. Now, there isn't a ton of customization options, but you can switch up the ammo type and the rate of fire, which is nice. Now, this weapon can be found in Wilson's Atomatoy's corporate HQ, as well as the ammo can be crafted at the chemistry station to keep you stocked up. You can also reuse the foam dart ammunition, which, if I've learned anything from the Discovery Channel, should help stop global warming. Here we have better third-person animations by Onimaru9. Looking like you know what you're doing is a key characteristic. Just looking the part is half the battle. For instance, I knew this one guy who used to practice karate kicks in the park and everyone thought he knew how to fight. Turns out, he didn't know shit. He was just like a crazy person who was really into Chuck Norris movies. Yet, I rarely saw someone beat the fuck out of him. I mean, it did happen. He was a weird guy throwing kicks around inches away from people's faces at a public park. He got ganked more than once. Oh my god, did he get ganked. But it was rare because he was pretty convincing. So if you're gonna be handling weapons, you might as well look like you know what you're doing, right? Well, with this mod installed, your character will have much better, more tactical, and more realistic third-person animations when he or she is handling firearms. There are new pistol animations that just look so good, I had to change my underwear the first time I seen them. Your character will now hold the pistol like he's Chris Redfield in Resident Evil. Your character will also look a lot more tactical when they're handling rifles or submachine guns. With a much more tactical stance and when you aim in with your character, you'll actually look like you're trying to fucking hit something. It's amazing. There's also a really cool optional animation with rifles and submachine guns that'll make you look like a fucking lunatic when you're not aiming down the sights of your weapon. I kind of feel like this animation is my spirit animal. It just gets me, you know? This is an absolutely great animation mod that just makes the third person animations in Fallout 4 so much more satisfying and realistic. Here we have the NCR Veteran Ranger Armor by Toasty Fresh. Now I would wear an armor like this in real life if playing dress up wasn't synonymous with Halloween and robbing banks. It's funny, you wear one mask in a bank and everyone thinks you're there to rob the place, which I gotta say, I find kind of insulting. Just because I'm covering my face doesn't make me a criminal. Maybe they should get to know me first before they start passing out accusations, right? Honestly, I was so hurt at being prejudged that I got all flustered and my handgun fell right out of my overalls. I had to let my hostage go just to pick it up and collect myself. I coached Little League Baseball for Christ's sake! I'm not a criminal! <laughs> This mod adds an incredibly detailed NCR Veteran Ranger armor from Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4. Honestly, I gotta say, it's an incredible rendition of the original, while at the same time updates the textures and meshes to look a bazillion times better. This armor is so sexy that I'm scared to look at it for long periods of time for fear that a baby will just shoot right out of my ass. I just love the attention to detail the mod author puts into this armor mod. The only problem I have with this armor mod is that it's really difficult to fight ghouls and goblins with a boner the whole time. This beautiful armor can be found lazily placed in a chest in Valentine's office, and another can be found lazily placed on a table in Fallon's department store. This is an incredible mod that's immersive, realistic, and makes a perfect addition to anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have Scooter and Ketten K-Rad by M150. 
Motorized scooters, or segways as the girls are calling them nowadays, are a great way of telling everyone you're an eccentric billionaire with too much money to be caught using your legs like a peasant. They'll transport you from your master suite and marble bedroom to your backyard three miles away in a jiffy. There you'll be able to pay working class people to lather themselves in cocaine and wrestle endangered squid babies for your amusement. Or whatever rich people do for fun. This is a really cool mod that adds three types of working scooter to the game. All you'll have to do to get your very own is craft one of them at the new scooter workbench. There you'll have six options, which consist of three normal variants and three raider variants. To use the scooter, you'll just have to throw down a grenade with that scooter type. And poof! It will appear like David Blaine just mind freaked your whole situation. Now if you want another type of scooter, then just throw down a different grenade and the old scooter will disappear and be replaced with the new one. It's as easy as shaking a baby, but not nearly as socially unacceptable. This is a really fun mod that adds a new type of transportation to the Commonwealth that I would recommend anyone try at least once just for shits and gigs. Here we have Hellboy Weapons by John Connor. This mod adds a couple different Hellboy weapons to Fallout 4. These weapons are based off the weapons in the Hellboy comic book series, and they definitely look unique. Now, obviously these weapons are imaginary. I mean, there's no weapon in real life that looks like this. Honestly, that's okay though, because some of the best things are imaginary. For instance, I had this really cool imaginary friend when I was a kid. We used to stay up all night telling stories and playing games, and sometimes I'd take off all my clothes and dance around a little. Wait, what the fuck? I just realized my imaginary friend was my Uncle Gary! Oh, that's gonna come up in my diary later on for sure. For sure it is. Now these weapons look crazy in the game. The shotgun is big and girthy and gives enemies new reasons to soil themselves. It's a shotgun like this that makes you look like a complete lunatic when you pull it out of your backpack on the bus. It's big, it's loud, and it packs a lot of stopping power that weirdly makes me pee a little when I shoot it. Now the hand cannon is equally ginormous, and it's sure to scare the bejesus out of anything you point it at. These weapons don't have any customization options, but who needs customization options when you're already so unique, right? Now if you want to acquire these weapons, they can both be crafted at the chemistry station once this mod is installed. Prepare yourself for constant shrieks of terror though before you install these behemoths in your game. Because every time people see one of them, they're gonna be like, ah! And that was just when I showed it to one of my kids. Here we have Lamprey Floaters by the Frying Turkey. Look at this funky looking thing floating around all sexy flaunting its underballs to anyone with the curiosity to explore its glowing sexual prowess. I'll be honest with you guys, this, uh, this thing confuses and excites me for reasons I'd rather not get into without a psychotherapist present. I feel like maybe this guy was designed to be the world's worst French kisser. I mean, I had an ex-girlfriend that used to open her mouth that wide when we were kissing and it was a nightmare. Come to think about it, this thing might be my ex-girlfriend. Wait, Veronica, is that you? Changed your hair a little bit, didn't ya? <laughs> On an unrelated note, it also has this long penis-shaped doohickey bobbing around underneath it that it apparently uses to shoot green rays at its enemies. And I think those green rays are what happens when it climaxes and this thing is just jizzing on everyone it comes in contact with for fear that it might not be able to pass on its seed. I mean, this thing has to have some idea what it looks like, right? I mean, let's face it, you'd be jizzing on everything too if you were single and you look like that, <laughs> right? Who wouldn't? This mod adds the Lamprey Floater from Fallout 3 concept art to Fallout 4. It's got all its own custom animations and shit, and it always has its mouth open like it's ready to fluff the talent. But it also has big old better not stick anything in there teeth, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. So, if you get a little liquored, make sure you only do over the shirt stuff with this ugly freak, okay? Let me tell ya, I had to learn this the hard way. I took two morning after pills and guess what? I still think I'm pregnant. Not positive though, guess I'll just have to wait 7 to 10 months and see if a nightmare pops out of my body. Now this is definitely a fun, super ugly, fully functional new creature, sure to improve anyone's playthrough of the game. Up next we've got Stealthy Takedowns by Joe RQC. Now when you want to man slap a guard bitch as you're breaching a compound, 
you don't want to alert all his girlfriends in the process, as they might be packing some smoke cannons, and my guess is they don't like it when you kill one of their lookouts. I'm just spitballing here. Well, before this mod, it was kind of a nuisance when you wanted to stealth kill motherfuckers in this game, as even with a high enough stake, you'd only be able to stealth kill someone every once in a blue donkey's penis. Well, with this mod installed, as long as you're sneaking up behind someone, you'll be given a prompt to stealth kill them. Or, if you have knockout framework, you can toggle to knock them out, so you don't lose massive amounts of karma stabbing obvious soy boys in the butt crack. Now, in order for this mod to work properly, though, you will have to have at least one level of Sandman in Sneak. However, once you have these two perks at any level, you'll be able to split or sell the shit out of unsuspecting NPCs. <laughs> oh man, it is just a good time. This mod just helps round out the combat in Fallout 4 and makes playing as a stealth build that much more appealing and engaging in the game. I would definitely recommend this mod in anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have Anime Race by Hayao Komod. Have you ever wanted to live in a fantasy world filled with endless bewilderment where magical pixie people wear tight underwear and dance around in the moonlight? Yeah, me neither. That'd be weird. With this mod installed, you can get a glimpse of a fictional anime experience. Now you'll be able to make your character so weird and sexy that perverted people will pay money on the internet to smell your bathwater. Everything you do will be sexy with this mod installed. You can just wake up in the morning and pour egg yolks on your chest like a sexy frying pan. Yeah, I hear that's a thing. This mod does exactly what it looks like it does and it allows you to play it as an anime female character in the game with very anime characteristics, including abnormally gigantic eyes, tiny lips, a nearly non-existent nose, and cute but fuckable hairstyles. Once you've downloaded this mod, you'll have to go into the character creation screen to customize it. Once there, you'll have to use the console command SLM14, which will give you new face options that are very anime friendly. Yes, they are. This is a great mod that almost completely changes the way you play Fallout 4, but like in a good way. Now, if you're a big anime fan, then this is an excellent mod to anime up your playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have Excessive Blood Spray Overhaul by Blazy. Now, I didn't pay a lot of attention in biology class in school, mainly because anatomy is gross and it focuses on icky details like our gooey innards. However, there are still some things even I was able to learn about biology. Like, for instance, when you pop a human, they leak. Now, that information is unlikely to get you a fancy sticker on a science test, but it is an important detail for realism in Fallout 4. Before this mod, when you would shoot an enemy, there would be blood on the ground, but no leakage from the wound itself. However, with this mod installed, everywhere on the body that is hit will squirt blood, and major wounds will leak for an allotment of time, giving the impression that these NPCs actually have blood coursing through their bodies. Now, this mod does not replace any blood decals or limb head explosion effects. However, it does edit one entry in impact data, that also holds information for impact decals. In this instance, the bloody bullet hole decal when flesh is hit with any ballistic projectile. Simply put, it only works with ballistic weapons at the moment and shouldn't conflict with other blood and gore mods. How fucking sweet is that, man? That's, that's pretty sweet, I think. This is a great mod that's sure to improve immersion when it comes to combat in Fallout 4. Here we have Classic Metal Armor by XGamer468. Now this armor is the bee's knees when it comes to spiky shoulder pad mods. I find that spikes send a clear and concise message to potential hostiles. They say, buzz off, or I'll stab you with spikes. This mod adds the metal armor from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4, and it does it with style. This is by far the most attractive metal armor I've ever seen. And I've seen some metal armor mods that are real sluts. I've been places. Now, if you want to sport these pointy duds, then you'll be able to obtain them off of raiders and vendors all over the Commonwealth as they've been added to the respective level lists. And if you don't want to go through the trouble of finders keepers, losers weepers, then you can craft your very own at the chemistry station with the right supplies. Now, this armor has all its own custom meshes and textures that just make my panties moist as fuck. The armor looks realistic and immersive and fits in perfectly with Fallout 4's overall aesthetic. This is a great mod that will make an excellent addition to anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. 
Next up, we've got Institute Senators by the Fried Turkey. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking when you look at this thing. Is it single? And how can I be inside it right now? <laughs> Obviously, nobody's thinking that because this thing is ugly as fuck. Put it this way, if they were giving out participation medals at local beauty pageants, this thing would still go home empty-handed. And not for lack of fucking hands, because it's got a lot of those things protruding from its monster gunt or whatever. This little abomination was actually a concept creature for Fallout 3, but it was never brought to fruition. Probably out of fear. This thingamabob has got multiple hands and heads and all sorts of shit just coming out of it every which way. It honestly looks like something right out of the movie The Thing. Now this is a new creature that is added in Fallout 4, which again is based off of concept art in Fallout 3. The creature itself, aside from looking like a toddler's drawing come to life, is actually really well done in the game. This new creature is both terrifying and believable in Fallout 4, and definitely feels like something you might come across while adventuring the Commonwealth. Now this creature terrorizes me right down to my very core. Put it this way, if I rolled over after a long night of binge drinking and seen this thing lying next to me, there's a good chance I'd get my fucking life together. I may also have to throw on my underwear for unrelated reasons. Now having this ugly scuzz in your game is sure to spice up enemy encounters in Fallout 4. Here we got the AR-500 Tactical Vest by Ghost fc 3 s this mod adds an assortment of tactical ballistic vests to Fallout 4. Ballistic vests are just something you don't see in Fallout 4. Yet there are so many good reasons to want a ballistic vest in the post-apocalypse. Mainly to keep bullets from entering your body and letting your life jelly out. I mean, we're just giant bags of juice, people. And if enough of that juice gets out, we will fucking die. Ballistic vests. Help by stopping things that could create leaks in our body bags, like knives and bullets and really pointy rocks. Now these vests are all made from their own custom textures and meshes and shit. And they look super realistic in the game. I mean, they actually look like they got plate armor in them that is protecting your character from getting bodied on the regular. The vests all come in multiple colors and designs as well, so you can find one that really brings out your eyes. Now, there are ones with multiple pockets and magazines, and there are also ones without. I mean, this mod really has everything you could possibly want in a nice, protective, and practical vest. All the vests can be crafted at the chemistry station as long as you have the supplies to do so. This is one of those mods that just manages to make any outfit just look that much more badass to the game. I would highly recommend this mod to anyone who wants a little more tactical protection in Fallout 4. Here we have the Wasteland Garage by Digonum. Post-apocalyptic vehicles are important in setting up that Fury Road feel we expect from the end of civilization. It's pretty difficult to have a human hood ornament without a car with a good hood. I want my enemies to know that I will pull their butt cheeks apart and duct tape them to a used up Hyundai if they try to steal my virgin wives. I really think the only way to make that message abundantly clear is with a human person chassied to my monster rig. This mod adds a ton of new workshop items to Fallout 4 that really give your settlements that post-apocalyptic feel. There's a ton of new Mad Max themed vehicles as well as other items that give your shit flair, pizzazz, and just a little shaken as a baby vibe. Now your settlements can really feel like a place people would go to eat other people. There are so many new items added by this mod from vehicles to weapon racks to skeletons positioned artistically. This also includes motorcycles, doom buggies, and other shit that otherwise wasn't even in Fallout 4 in the first place, giving your settlements a look and feel completely unique in the Commonwealth. Next up, we've got Repcon Hazardous Environment Suit by My Card. Outfits like this are essential for protecting your cheeks from the precarious conditions of the post-apocalypse. Just think of all the dusty particles that would blow right up your snout without these pragmatic pajamas. This suit was designed for three things. Cleaning up hazardous spills, possibly lunar exploration, and quarantining people who spit when they talk. Honestly, it's a game changer. The meshes and textures all look realistic and immersive in the game and make you really feel protected against the hazardous conditions of the nuclear apocalypse. The helmet looks like it keeps in all the good stuff and blocks out all the bad stuff. 
in with the good, out with the bad. In with the good, out with the bad. <laughs> the armor itself looks compact, but also protective. Like it might not stop a cannonball or anything fucked up like that, but you gotta ask yourself, who the fuck is going around shooting cannons in the post-apocalypse? The boots are also super unique and really take some risks, aesthetically speaking, and give it that futuristic spaceman sort of vibe, which I like. There is also an Under Armour for this outfit that looks like a giant rubber condom by itself, but coupled with this armor, looks great. This is a really cool armor mod that makes an excellent addition to Fallout 4. Next up, we've got Drivable Cars Redux by Vicious Seth. Best part about having cars in the post-apocalypse is if you accidentally hit somebody coming home from the golf course, you don't have to spend hours hiding the body and years lying to your family and friends about what happened to Old Man Porter. You can just nudge him right off your windshield with a stick and keep on driving like nothing happened. Driving is one of those things that psychos look forward to most in the post-apocalypse. Just think about it, there's no traffic, no stoplights, and no speed limits. So you can just burn rubber like you just installed a new muffler on your 1993 Honda Civic hatchback. That's right, I've watched Fast and Furious more times than any person ever should. Once. Before this mod, you couldn't take advantage of all the vehicles just laying around the Commonwealth. It was just a bubble of wasted potential that needed to be popped. This mod makes all the vehicles in Fallout 4 drivable. You can either craft them, repair them, or find functional ones littered around the world space. The wheels actually move and you can see your player characters in the car, which is awesome. You can also store stuff in the vehicles, which is great and also pretty efficient. Even though the vehicles turn like gravity doesn't apply to them, it's still a lot of fun to drive around the world space instead of walking. Here we have Tactical Action Extension Package by 2UNX. Laying down is an extremely effective military tactic. It's uh, sneaky, evasive, and non-threatening. And worst case scenario, if you get caught, you can play dead. I find the most convincing way to play dead is to stop moving completely, slow your breathing, and if they get in real close, just shit yourself. That's really the nail in the coffin, so to speak. They might still think you're alive, but when you shit your pants, it'll remove all doubt, and they should just boogie right on past you. Worst case, if they don't fall for it, they should still feel bad for you, because you smell like shit. This is an awesome mod that lets you get right down onto your back or your belly in the game. Before this mod, you were able to crouch to sneak around, but you weren't able to go in the prone position to really immerse yourself in the shrubbery. Well, now you can. You'll be able to get in tactical positions that complement your weapon tree. You can even move around in those positions to get up on an unsuspecting enemy or get a better vantage point. Now this position only works with certain weapons though, so you gotta keep that in mind. The RU-556, the XM-2010, and the Vector are the only weapons it works with at the moment. But check the mod author's description for more weapons that might be added in the future that you can use while you're waddling around on your belly button. I love this mod and think it adds a more immersive combat experience in the game. This mod makes you feel like you're being cautious and tactical when you're engaged with hostiles in Fallout 4. Next up, we've got Gilly Mod Redux by Game Dev. Blending into your environment is important when you're trying to infiltrate a hostile stronghold, especially if you don't want to be seen doing reconnaissance and also if you don't want to be noticed sneaking in. Let's face it, you're going to raise a bunch of red flags if you try to walk amongst the enemy looking like a potential threat. But nobody suspects a talking bush. They just think, hey, that's weird. That bush is going around stabbing people. Better steer clear of that thing. And then they just go about their business, none the wiser. The mod author did an amazing job adding a ghillie suit to Fallout 4. The meshes and textures for this outfit are just incredible and give it a very realistic and immersive design. But what really butters my biscuits with this mod is that you can customize it to fit the environment set up in your game. You can choose from multiple different types of camos that blend into greener pastures or snowy tundras. It also looks awesome over some nice military duds which have also been added with this mod. This mod actually makes me feel like I was raised by trees. Oh yeah! Woo! Fucking trees! This is one of those mods you're not sure you need, and then when you install it, you're like, how in nature's nipples did I not have this in my game already? This mod is just a treat in every way, and a lot of fun to use in the game. Up next, we've got Working Visible Weapons by Slevin92. 
Being able to see stuff is important for realism. For instance, I thought I only had one parent my entire childhood because I never seen my father. Years later, I found out I was wrong because one day he just came home. Turns out he got out early on good behavior, which I think is code for not throwing shit at the guards. Now I'll tell you, it made my home life seem way more real and immersive until he stabbed me and had to go back to prison. This mod does what so many people have wanted and followed for so long, and that's to have visible weapons on your character irregardless of the weapon you're using in the game when it's holstered. This mod will make any weapon, whether it's vanilla or mod, show up on your person when it's holstered in the game. This mod is awesome for adding that little dash of realism to your character pre-combat and post-combat. However, running seems to still be a little bit buggy, as weapons can look like they're floating at times. It might not be perfect, but it's still an awesome visible weapon mod, no doubt. I mean, I get a little chubby every time I put a weapon away with this mod installed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. Oh dear god, yes! Oh fuck yeah! Up next, we've got Renegade Soldier by My Cart. Clothes say a lot about a person. For instance, the suit says, I like expensive shit. Spandex might say, I like to work out. And tank tops say, I probably beat my wife. Point is, you can learn a lot by paying attention to people's attire. Like this renegade soldier outfit says, I'm combat ready, but I'm also a little shy, hence the mask. Or maybe it says, I'm ready for some roughhousing, but I've got this hideous disfigurement that I don't want people to see. Either way, it gives off a clear message that the occupant isn't really much of a people person, you know? Now this mod adds an excellent new set of attire to Fallout 4. The armor looks really tactical and immersive, and makes you feel protected yet flexible as you traverse the commonwealth looking for your son. If you want your very own renegade armor, then you can craft it at the chemistry station under its own category. There are multiple color options to choose from as well, so you'll be able to really get an outfit that complements your particular playstyle in the game. Oh buddy! I think this is a really cool mod that adds a very unique set of mercenary armor to the game. The meshes, textures, and design all go great in the game and would be a great addition to anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have the Jogren Inertia by AxeXS. This weapon reminds me of my high school prom date, in that my high school prom date tried to kill me with a shotgun. Oh, to be young again, am I right, fellas? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, she wasn't perfect, and maybe she was a little crazy, but boy, could she dance. She could just shake her booty. Honestly, I should have guessed she'd try to kill me at some point, because there were a lot of red flags. Like, for starters, she had a shotgun. And also, when I asked her to go to prom, she said yes. This mod adds the Jogren Inertia to Fallout 4, which is one of the most unique-looking shotguns I've ever seen. It's got all its own custom meshes, textures, and animations, and it looks absolutely incredible in the game. The gun itself operates perfectly and feels powerful and realistic when you use it. The weapon has a couple customization options, I mean not enough to call home about, but enough to give it a more personalized feel when you're using it in the game. Now if you want to acquire this weapon, then you can get it from completing one of two short quests that have been added once this mod is installed. This shotgun might look a little unusual, but that doesn't stop it from being an amazing addition to the game. Next up, we've got Fox by the Fried Turkey. Fox is an amicable super mutant from Fallout 3 that this mod author decided to remaster for Fallout 4. Everything for this mod has been made from scratch, and boy, does he look finger licking delicious. I mean, he's got no lips and a grin that'd traumatize a baby, but just look at the attention to detail here. Oh goodness. As most of you may already know, super mutants generally aren't friendly. They're the opposite of friendly. Some might even call them unfriendly on account that they kill, torture, and eat people. However, Fox is different. He's a bit of an oddball in terms of super mutants on account that he doesn't automatically hate kill and eat humans. And that's a plus in my book. Fox can be found under Boston Public Library, where he's being held by other super mutants. And when you find him, you can help him escape. After which, he will accompany you on your adventures in the Commonwealth. How sweet is that? Oh man, that's the sweetest butter on bread right there. <laughs> oh yeah. This is an awesome mod that adds back one of the best followers from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4. And I couldn't be more excited to have him in my game. 
Up next, we've got Steampunk Weaponry by John Connor. Now, this mod adds some new weapons to the game that are aesthetically exciting. Aesthetics are important. I mean, looking good is half the battle, really. I mean, for instance, if I came into work smelling of booze with my hair a mess, my shirt untucked, and a wet condom falling off the tip of my penis, then people might start to think, I'm not qualified to fly this plane! And they would be correct. I have never flown a plane in my life. <laughs> <laughs> now both of these weapons are extreme in their design. The first one being a steampunk style rifle with custom meshes, textures, and animations. This thing sounds like a choo-choo train when you shoot it, and it's one of the most unique looking weapons I've ever seen. It also has a few customization options to change it up a bit, and make it feel a bit more personalized. The second weapon is a shotgun that looks like something out of Borderlands. It's fucking intense to say the least, with a crazy amount of barrels that'll blast the shit out of your enemies. Now these weapons are some of the most unique weapons I've ever seen in Fallout 4. Now if you want to use these bitches in the game, then you just have to saunter on over to the chemistry station and craft your very own under the steampunk section that's been added. I gotta say, maybe not the best choice for an immersive playthrough of the game, but boy are these things a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to bitch slap that subscribe button like it's three weeks behind on your rent. <laughs> bitch! Where's the money, bitch? Where's the money? Where is it? Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon, too, because apparently YouTube thought there should be extra steps. Why not, right? I'd like to subscribe, but first I have to click this and this and do this. Oh, it needs an email. All right, and this. Okay, fuck. Just tell me when he's uploading. Fuck! Once you do all that, if you're lucky, at the stroke of midnight, a tiny little average baiter's fairy might come and tickle your butthole. Now, I hope to see you all again next time, and remember to keep on average baiting, baby.